almost six weeks into the lockdown of Metro Manila and surrounding regions, ang tanong ng marami is whether may extend ito beyond April 30 and also what will happen to different businesses. One sector na pinag-usapan ngayon is the Philippine Offshore Gaming Operations or in so-called POGUS, ito yung mga online casinos mostly run by Chinese investors. Back in 2016, China offered the Philippines close to $24 billion in investment. So far, wala pa tayong nakikitang masyado in terms of Chinese infrastructure, big ticket investments, but marami tayong nakikita in terms of Chinese online casino investments. Ito yung mga private investors na galing sa China. Now, the Philippine casino industry has really expanded over the past four years under President Duterte. Overall revenues have quadrupled to almost $4 billion last year. Yung licensing fee pa lang ay lumampas sa $150 million last year. That's more than tenfold increase. Now, this is ironic because President Duterte in August of 2018 said that he hates gambling. That's what the president said back in August of 2018. Interestingly, a year after, almost exactly a year after, during his meeting with President Xi Jinping of China in Beijing, he actually stood his ground. He rejected proposals or calls by President Xi Jinping to shut down these online casinos because wag natin kalimutan bawal pong gambling sa China. And the Chinese government is worried about what these Chinese-run online casinos in the Philippines are doing. But President Duterte stood his ground and defended his decision to keep the POGUS. Now, many are also now calling for the POGUS to once again return to their normal business operations dahil the revenues that they're raising is very important to our country. One of these persons is Congressman Eric Yap. Finance Secretary Sonny Dominguez has suggested that they are looking into this matter and if there's enough reason to feel that the situation is improving in terms of public health conditions, then maybe ma relaxing restrictions on the operation of POGUS and other important businesses in the country. Nonetheless, the POGUS are quite controversial in the Philippines and critics have raised at least three different concerns. First of all, critics allege that when it comes to POGUS, they're generally shady and shadowy business and therefore they go hand in hand with illicit activities. For instance, between 2017 and 2019 alone, there were close to 67 gambling-related kidnappings in the Philippines. The second concern is that the booming of the POGUS has also gone hand in hand with some corruption in the government. For instance, the critics point that the Senate investigations earlier this year, which showed a so-called pastilla scheme, kung saan binabribe daw yung ating immigration officers in exchange for visa or sometimes even passport for foreign people who work in the online casino industry. The third accusation is by critics including senators and experts who suggest that the POGUS could act as a front for Chinese intelligence operations in the Philippines. For instance, Senator Panfilo Lacson, the former PNP chief and someone who has a lot of connection inside the Philippine defense establishment, he suggested that his sources told him that there could be hundreds or thousands of Chinese PLA, People's Liberation Army officers, working in the Philippines under the guise of working in the POGUS. Again, this is an allegation and is yet to provide a definitive evidence for that. Now, even Defense Secretary Delfin Lorenzano raised similar concerns. The image that showed that these POGUS are too close to a lot of our important and strategic government offices. Even Philippine Defense Secretary Delfin Lorenzano acknowledged the possibility of spying. So critics claim that the POGUS are more headache than benefit but President Duterte and a lot of his supporters are arguing that no, the POGUS are very relevant to our national economy. At dapat sila ibalik as soon as possible. Ako po si Richard Hidarian. Stand with us. Stand for truth.